how, you know, with this way that we are constantly starting so early in life that we're constantly um, encouraged to fit a mold, right? Mm -hmm. Or to conform. How do you stay like this? Like, how do you keep your individuality and make brave decisions and stay true to yourself and all of that? How do you stay Tracy? Okay. So I'm going to ask you the same question, but I'm going to try and answer for me. Let's see. Well, I think um, I don't do it alone. Um, I do it with a very strong spiritual practice, um, which is, uh, includes everything from choosing food that is good for me to taking Mm -hmm. baths, to zoning out to television, to, um, really looking at the things that, um, actually match my insides, you know, Mm -hmm. um, takes a lot of courage and a lot of tears, (laughs) (laughs) Um, I, I, and it has been a one day at a time, um, sometimes one hour at a time adventure, Mm -hmm. you know, um, the truth is that my live out loudness has been hard earned. Like I was so uncomfortable in my skin growing up. And then I figured out what I wanted, you know, that like how to make my skin's skin match my insides. And then I figured out who I was and like started to accept that, but didn't really like it. And then, so there was that part of the journey. And then there was like, how do I meet myself? And then how do I just, can I just accept myself? I don't have to like it. Can I just accept it? You know, cause like I've tried to be all the different things. Like I've tried to be all the things. And the truth is I am best at being me. I I'm, I'm just best at it and it's much more comfortable and it's much more comfortable for everybody around me when I'm myself. Um, you know what it's like when you're around somebody who you can tell is not being themselves and doing that thing, like how it makes you feel like you should be doing something else and you should be, blah, blah, you know? Um, so, and then f- finally, um, it was like, then came the journey of like, how do I find the courage to actually be the person that I know that I am? Mm -hmm. And then even maybe on some days like her, and even if I don't like her, and even if there's a favorite version of me and my not favorite version of me and all these different kinds, how do I be kind to her no matter what? Mm -hmm. And that that is the part that I have, that's a, that's a daily reprieve. That's like a, that requires a consciousness. It requires a community and a a tribe of friends and women around me that I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid to show who I am to my vulnerable bits. You know, like I called you the, I texted you this morning. Like I, I feel like the last week and a half life has been just screaming, like Mm -hmm. screaming everywhere. Um, and I'm not joking you, Glennon. I have, I've been so proud of myself. I had like a lot of big things to do. It's just been like waves crashing, 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 like mm-hmm. not crashing, but like just so many things coming at me that are like require me to be like the big adult Tracy. And um, and all I want to do is be like little girl Tracy and like eat a popsicle <laughs> and like call it a day. Like, bye, I'm gonna eat a popsicle and go to bed. Um, but I've got to keep showing up and I love showing up. The more energy, you know, uh, the more energy I have, the, the more energy I have. And anyway, um, but I have been talking to myself so gently and just mm-hmm. saying, you're doing a good job, Tracy. Like you are, you are. And I know it's hard right now. And it takes all those things. It just takes all those things to live out loud. It's not, it's not an Instagram post. It's a, yeah. it's a real life situation. Mm-hmm. And I learn from people like you and so many others that show me that I'm not alone in my humanity. Like I'm not alone in feeling kooky and crazy or Mm -hmm. um just terrified or anxious or whatever and doing and doing it anyway you know Mm -hmm. and and continuing to show up 